everyone, it's Donna here from Donna's Creative Corner and I am here today with a little bit of everything. Um, cleaning off my shelves and trying to sort through everything. I've, I've got just a little bit of everything. I've got buttons and bows and wedding trims and some crochet stuff. So um, let's get started. <clears throat> Up first is Lot L and this is a grab bag of vintage buttons. If you saw uh, my video last weekend, I purchased a very big tin of vintage buttons from um, the auction a few weeks ago. And I've separated most of it into grab bags. There's a little bit of everything in here. Um, a lot of them still have the, the threads on them, some other pearl, some metal. Um, a little bit of everything. There was a little note on the top of it that said "Grandma's Buttons." Um, so this is one of the one of the grab bags. Um, this is Lot L. I have 12 of these put together, and they are four dollars a piece. Grab bag of vintage vintage buttons. Lot M is also a grab bag of buttons, but this one is. These are new buttons. They are from um, Italy um, and this is these are the different ones that are in this in this uh, grab bag it's a little bit smaller grab bag <coughs> um, I didn't I'll give you the measurements in a middle, minute but there are very few of these big dark ones in here they're mostly um, this size and style here and then some of the smaller ones Good for our flower centers. We have a like a, a grayish silver, a gray, kind of a mother of pearl type, an amber, and then a smaller, darker one. Um, the larger ones that there are very few of are a, just over an inch, an inch and an eighth. And the smallest one is about uh, five eighths of an inch. So this is a grab bag of Italian buttons. Um, I have 31 of these put together, and these are two dollars and fifty cents a bag. That's lot M. Lot N is more buttons. I've had these before. These are vintage. They'll come to you on a strand like this. They are teeny tiny. Um, pearl buttons, there's 144 buttons on each strand. You can see the little teeny buttons. They're already a kind of vintage tea stain color. They are from um, Japan. That's the tag that was on them. Um, this is Lot N, a strand of tiny vintage buttons. I have 31 of these available as well, and this is $2.50 also. That's Lot N. Lot O is uh, miscellaneous. Um, I have two of these. They have come on, two different designs. Um, Lot O O one is the bird, and O two is the flower vase, and this is on silk. It's like an oriental pattern, and this is very very fine embroidery. Let me give you the dimensions. O two is about ten and a half by eleven and a half, and O one is 11, looks like 11 by 11, no, 11 by 10. So, oops, let me come down so you can see the, the embroidery on here. This is um, O2, the flower base, with some flowers, um, flower petals. Very, very fine, fine embroidery. I don't know if that's machine embroidery or that's hand embroidered. It's like, oh my gosh, that's fine. You need a magnifying glass to do that. But very pretty. Um, 
I only have one of each of these and I'm asking $2 uh, a piece for these. That's lot O, O1, and O2. Lot P is a set of five crocheted corners. These come off the corners of the tablecloths that I cut apart for my for my doilies. Um, there are different sizes, different styles, different colors. This one is lot P. I have another um, set, lot Q, that is also corners. Um, you've got, let's see, this one, this one, another white one, this one, and then this one is a fillet with the stitched, stitched flowers in it. So that is lot P, a set of five corners. I'm asking $2.50 for this set, and I have four of that one. Lot Q is also a set of four corners. And this one, one, two, three, four, this is also a set of five. You've got this one here, this one here, white one, this kind of tea stain kind of color one, and this, um, I don't know if this is filet or I, I think it is, it's an ecru color. This one's kind of gathered. So this is lot Q set of five. This one is also $2.50 a set. Lot R. Where is R? R and S. Okay. Lot R and S are the same hem. Um, they're already in, in um, sections. Lot S is a two yard strand of this trim. It's white. It has white sequins, pearl beads. Um, it has some bugle beads. I'll come down so you can see it. Um, it's four inches deep. And this is what it looks like close up. Um, this is a two yard piece of this trim. Lot S, and it, I'm asking five dollars for the two yards of this, and then lot T, no. Oh, lot R, I got I got my number, my letters. Yeah, lot R is this hem, one one and one third yards for three dollars and fifty cents, and then lot S is the two yards of this same hem for five dollars. Uh, lot R is the shorter piece, lot S is the two yard, two yard piece. Lot T is a wide embroidered hem. It is white, it has iridescent sequins, very very shiny iridescent sequins. Um, huh, this, well, there are some, some pearls occasionally on this one. It's mostly sequins though. So this is lot T. It is seven inches deep. I have seven yards available of this. Um, oh, actually I have, I have two different pieces of this. So you, it, uh, I'll let you know if you end up getting a piece that's not a whole uh, piece of the length that you want because I do have two pieces. Um, one piece is four and three quarters yards and the other one is two and three quarters yards. Uh, but this one is 350 per yard 
and that's what the applique looks like. You can cut that up into smaller pieces. So that's Lot T. Oops, uh oh, I'm caught. I'm caught. Hold on. There we go. Lot U. I only have three yards of this. It is a off-white or maybe even a cream um, Alençon the corded. It has clear sequins, pearl beads. It is three and a half inches deep from here down to here. And that's what this one looks like. This is Lot U. I only have three yards available of this one and I'm asking two dollars per yard for this one. Lot V is another embroidered, where's my pin? Oh, there it is. Another embroidered hem. Um, it is, what letter am I on? V. Um, kind of a, a light cream or another one that might be just off white. Um, it is four and a half inches deep from here down to there. It has large clear sequins, pearl bead. Um, it's just pearl, sequin, pearl, sequin, pearl. Not a whole lot of embellishment on it but I have seven yards of this one available and I'm only asking a dollar seventy five per yard for this one. That is lot V. Lot W is a heavily beaded. I had some appliques from this dress a while back. This is the hem from it. Um, it's a dark cream color, heavily beaded. It is four hmm, W. That doesn't look like four inches. Where's my ruler? That is not four inches. It's more like three inches deep. Um, I only have four and a half yards of this one and I'm asking 350 per yard. And let me come down so you can see all the beads on there. No sequins, all beads. So that is lot W, four and a half yards. Lot X is another embroidered trim. There's my pin. This one oops, is five inches deep, and that's from here down to there. Clear sequins, pearl beads, a fair amount of um, beadwork on here. You've got some rice beads and regular pearl beads. Very pretty, pretty embroidered trim. Um, uh, this one, I have 10 yards of this one available and I'm asking $3.50 per yard for this one. That is a lot. W, no, that's X. Oops. Lot Y is, um, this came off of, these came off of a bedspread. I'm selling them like this. There's um, crochet around here and then it's on a linen backing. You can take the um, linen off to just get the, cro uh, the crochet and if you do that this is what you'll get. Um, um, these measure 11 and a quarters inches long by four and a half inches wide. 
this is what it looks like still on the the linen or the cotton fabric of some sort um, I am selling these like this and I am only asking 75 cents a piece for these and I have a bunch how many do I have 41 of these available that is lot Y lot Z is a piece of, of fabric it's that fabric that has the little bumps in it I don't I, I need to find out what this is called because I, I get this kind of fabric quite frequently but I don't know what it's called it's very vintage um, the piece of fabric has 12 of if you cut it apart you'll have 12 of these squares let me come down close on a square um, the square measures about three and three quarters by about four and a quarter these are perfect for making pockets in your uh, junk journals or your albums this is lot Z you will get this fabric enough to make to cut out 12 of those squares um, I have 13 of these available and I'm asking four dollars a piece for this piece of vintage fabric and then lastly I have a couple of bows from wedding dresses um, bow number one is a cream it has um, the corded alisson appliques on both sides of it it measures 15 inches by 9 inches here you'll have to press it because it's been it's been crumpled up a little bit and that's what the appliques look like on there this is bow number one I'm asking four dollars for this bow Come on. and then finally bow number two is a uh, double bow. This one has um, appliques on both of the both of the bows. It has some pearl swirls on it, and it also has some pearls along the top. A little bit, a little bit fancier. This one has also has a corded alençon. This one is a white. There's some of the pearl swirls and the pearls across the top. This one measures 17 inches this way by. 13 inches this way um, and bow number two I'm asking five dollars for this one um, and that's all I have for today I also have a few of the vintage junk journal embellishment kits from last weekend um, left if anybody's interested in junk journal kits take a look at my last video that I uploaded um, if you are interested in anything that you've seen today uh, the instructions on how to order are in the description box below. Um, as things sell out, I will mark them sold down below so you will also know um, what's available and what is not. And that's all I have for today. Bye for now.